You know, I think as we're coming to the end of life, it's very important to have a time when we say, okay, I am dying. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And how should I best do that? Do I want to be in the hospital? Do I want to be in intensive care? Do I want them pounding on my chest when my heart finally stops? Or do I want to just have comfort care? Do I want to be home with my family around me? If we don't make that decision and choose the latter, the default of medicine will be to just keep on going to do one more thing. And then we don't get into discussions with our family. We don't uh, have closure and we die as a fight to the finish. So I think we need to make a decision at some point to say, okay, just keep me comfortable. And we should do that, one, on the basis of our physical status. We need to know the diagnosis. We need to know the prognosis, what the likely outcome is going to be. We need to consider where we are spiritually. Am I ready to meet the Lord? We need to consider where we are emotionally. Sometimes, you know, just going to the doctor, going back and forth to the hospital, taking the pills, taking the treatments, having one more surgery. We're tired. We just don't want to do that anymore. We need to consider where we're at socially. Is our family ready to, to say, okay, it's all right to come to the end? And that's particularly hard when young people and teenagers are involved, both as the patient and as family members. But we need to look at all those things and then decide not to pursue aggressive care. And then we need to have a, an advanced directive. We need to sign a living will that says, if there's no hope of recovery, don't just try to keep me alive. But we also need to appoint a power of attorney, someone who can make medical decisions for us, and then instruct them into what our values are. And I think for many people, it's appropriate to go into palliative care or even hospice, who are organizations designed to help you stay at home through your later days and weeks and allow you to die in the presence of your family, just resting and doing many things to keep you comfortable. And that is so much the better way to die.